What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video and in today's video guys, we're going to be teaching the free-to-play players how to farm overnight and using no stamina pots, so let's get into the video. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing, we are on the road to 10k subscribers and at the time of recording this video, I'm at 8.51k subscribers on the YouTube channel. Turn on post notifications if you want to stay up to date with anything 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross related and with that out of the way, let's hop into the video. Alright, so I used to make these like guides back in the day on my YouTube channel, probably like 8 months, 9 months ago from now, um, but basically it was a guide on how you can farm overnight um, using no stamina pots at all. So I don't know if a lot of you guys know this or not, but there is a way you can actually do that um, and actually be pretty efficient as well because it's not too bad in terms of rewards you get because you actually do get like a decent amount of rewards um, it is meant to be done overnight the first thing you're going to want to do is going to go to a free stage so choose any free stage you want it doesn't really matter which one but depending on what you need um you go to that free stage so i'm just going to go to chapter two and get some like gold um food stuff so we'll actually just go over here um, where is this day? So this one right here. So this is the one I usually farm for just because you actually get like the uh, Danaphores or breaths um, and stuff like that, but Ideally you want to do this during half stamina It doesn't really matter to do it on half stamina or not because you still do get your um, stamina back um, But as you guys can see I'm at 99 stamina, right? And we're gonna be attempting this free stage right here this cooking one on the lowest difficulty So we're gonna hop in and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take off my CC food um, And I'm gonna get one unit that has a single target card and another card that is a stance or a heal card so basically anything that just like you know stops you from doing the fight um but also makes it so that you aren't really able to clear it as fast right um basically the whole point of this strategy for farming is that you make it so that you cannot um clear the stage as fast as you gain the stamina so basically the by the time you clear the stage you're gonna get your stamina back so it's gonna be like eight minutes per run if you're doing it on um no free stay or uh, uh not half stamina right if you're doing it on half stamina it only takes four minutes um for you to get the clear and to fully refill your stamina on these stages so the unit i like to use for this is actually sr bonds so i used to i used to use this unit um because the way sr bonds kit works is he actually has two skills one single target out reduction and then a stand skill right here so if you have it set up like that you bring like a, a brawler bond um or you could bring like i know another unit that works pretty well as well is gonna be like um, let me just see here. I know, uh, I think, what is it? No, I don't think it's, uh, Red Guilt Thunder. I'm trying to think of a unit that has a stance, but it has a single target. Um, let me see here. I mean, Blue Facking could probably work wherever he is. Um, but nah, like, I would say, oh yeah, SR Rimmer works too, but he's, like, very old. Um, but yeah, no, a SR Bond is probably the best way to go about it, because you just have to put him on the team, easy clap. You don't even have to give him gear or anything, you just take off your link, um, and he should be fine as is. Like, let me see if I have gear, I don't even have gear, perfect, so, you do not need gear for him or anything like that, we'll just give him, um, it doesn't really matter what food, because you don't need food at all, so I'll just put on, like, XP food just to show you guys that you don't need food for this. Um, but yeah, so you're just gonna get your unit. You're going to make sure they're alone, and you're going to make sure that you have no gear equipped, no link, no nothing. So you're just going to do that. Before we actually hop into that match, we're actually going to do some changes to the settings here. So if we go to game settings, we're actually going to scroll down here. And we're going to make it so that skip animations on none. We're actually also going to make the AI settings go to defensive. And the reason we're doing that is because we want to slow down the game enough so that the AI um, is able to stall out the entire fight for 8 minutes straight. So we're just going to make it so it does that. Um, and then what I'm going to do here, um, I think that's basically it. And then you put the, the play speed on uh, low right here. So we're just going to do that. Now the game's going to lag a little bit, but that's just how it's supposed to be. And because the game is lagging, it actually slows down the, the amount of time it takes for you to um actually do your skills in the fight so we're gonna do this we're gonna hop in um i'm gonna speed up the clip because it is gonna take a while because it is eight minutes per run with this team or with this setup um because it's gonna refill my whole stamina bar but yeah so we're just gonna set this up um and i'll probably just let the clip play but speed it up really fast and uh yeah you guys will see the efficiency because this is gonna be done overnight right you're not gonna be doing this during the day when you're trying to just like get your farming out of the way you do this when you have no stamina pots and you're low on them as a free-to-play and you do it overnight because you want to get some uh, free-to-play uh if you want to get some free stage mats right so let's hop in and i'll show you guys how efficient this can be
All right, so as you guys can see there, we actually cleared the... It took about, you know, six, seven minutes there. Um, Pretty, like, you know, it's pretty long. Um, the whole point of this strategy right here, guys, is to make it so that you're able to farm overnight, right? As you can see, I'm at 97 stamina at a 99 right now, so it is going to refresh um, soon. Like, let me just check the timer on the uh, stamina here, because I think it's about to change to 98. Um, and we took about, you know... Yeah, so no, it changed to about 98 there and had two minutes left on it. So it was about six minutes for that run. Um, but if you're farming overnight and you're doing this every single run, it's going to take you basically 99 runs for you to run out of stamina, quote unquote, right? Um, so it's very efficient if you're doing this overnight. Um, obviously, you could use stamina pots if you wanted to just go overnight and do it quickly. Um, but if you want to do it efficiently and save your stamina pots as a free-to-play player, um, you're actually just going to want to, you know, do this method right here. I definitely recommend doing it as well during half stamina because during half stamina, um, you're guaranteed to get your stamina back because of the amount of time it took me to clear that, right? Um, obviously, this would be a lot slower if your unit was less invested in. Like, my bond was SA5, um, no gear, no, no link or anything. Um, but you're still doing enough damage on a rank 1 to kill the enemy there. Um, but yeah, no, it's very efficient. Um, as you can see, I got 3 drops from that. And, you know, it only took me, um, what, like, 6 minutes? If you're doing this overnight and you have, like, what, like, 6 hours of sleep to, like, 8 hours of sleep, that's easily, like, over 100 runs. Easily, so... Um, yeah, no, it's pretty efficient. Um, I definitely recommend you guys do this as a free-to-play player because you're going to be getting a lot of materials like that. Let me just change my settings real quick and then we'll wrap up the video. Um, but I definitely recommend doing that if you are um, a player who needs uh, free stage mats or you're trying to just get your like affinity for your characters. Because um, if you actually go into your box and you just need like affinity on any of your characters or whatever, um, it's actually definitely recommended that you do this strategy. So um, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.